Hi everybody. I'm back. <laughs> I did a little short live video a bit ago. It's just uh, it's 11:21 a.m. here in Washington State, America, America, United States. 11:11 <laughs> today. Veterans Day used to be called Armistice Day marked the end of warring in the world after World War I. Did you know that? <sighs> it was the, you know, the end of wars, right? The idea that the 11th hour on the 11th day on the 11th month, say that five times fast, 11th hour, 11th day, 11th month, so that would have been 11 p.m. It's 11.22 a.m. right now. My time. But I'm just tuning in with that vibration of the end of wars and that concept that actually that was not only desirable, which I'm sure most people around the world also desire that now but that was a time when not only was it desirable to have a war that finally came to an end that marked the end of all wars of all the major nations not only was it desirable but it was possible in the minds of the people in the minds of governments who wanted to um, express that message to the people that wanted to create um, a world without war. And now we live in an age where we almost take it for granted that war is a, a, diff a different kind of thing than it used to be. <clears throat> it's, it's, it's the unending wars now, isn't it? And if you look at it from a sacred perspective, from an energetic perspective, from a developmental perspective, from a from the perspective that everything that happens in the world is also going on inside of us. And the fact that we changed the, the Armistice Day name to Veterans Day, which I think is a very noble thing to do, to honor the veterans, to honor those of you who have served in the line of duty. And I, I say to all of you today, for what it's worth, happy Veterans Day. For some of you, it might not be such a happy day to think about those days being at, at war um, in whatever capacity you uh, served or served now. Maybe you've been called back to duty. So just thinking about these, these things that Veterans Day was changed, uh, Armistice Day was changed to Veterans Day. And it's almost like that concept of the end of all wars has faded. Um, probably on purpose. <laughs> those that wish war to go on and on and on for their own monetary gain and status, political status, etc. But you know that I'm most interested in how all this affects us personally, individually, and how I can support you and help you and you know provide ways to get us all through this internal struggle that we seem to bear. We bear this, this struggle energy. And um, so I think right now I'm feeling it into what is being given to us in terms of uh, energetic support, cosmic wisdom, and 
I'm going to just invite us all to go into a little meditation here today to channel whatever it is that you need to receive at this time in an energetic form. So, you know, when we create first, it starts as an idea, right? It all starts in the mind, but it also starts in our, in our energy and our emotions. So we probably wouldn't even have the thought to create a certain thing if we didn't already have a pattern or a way of our personality or certain desires or passions um, that would even make that thought possible. So before the thought is the energy, is the emotion, is the imprint that is you, your unique signature, your, you, your projection in the world as a being in a body. <laughs> And having lived in the culture that we live in, in the world that we live in, in the societies that we've been dwelling in, we may be used to this inner war with ourselves, where on the one hand, part of us really maybe our inner child, <laughs> as we call it, the inner child that has been wounded in a way or told they're not allowed to achieve certain things. So that part of us that wants those things and then that part of us that wants to conform to the way that the world tells us to do things. So this battle, this struggle, and I, 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 I'm, I'm setting an intention and a desire to receive guidance and support continually throughout the day to be as aligned and connected with the essence energy or the Tao, the, f the base, the ground from which life extends. And so on this day where we have this core desire to end all wars within ourselves and between each other. A lot of that going on right now, huh? I know many families are struggling. I know many communities are struggling. Our spiritual community is struggling. There's a lot of disagreement going on. So how can we end these wars? And that is my deepest desire is to have us drop our weapons and open our hearts. In order to do that with others, we have to do that for ourselves, right? And we hear that time and time and time and time and time again. It's an inside job. So what are we doing? internally to drop our weapons. So whatever the fight is, maybe it's a fight against an emotion that you don't like to have. Maybe it's a fight to resolve some confusing, conflicting thoughts. So in this meditation we're going to do, we're going to do a visualization where all that I'm going to really look at that war within and then pierce through it so that we can almost like, like that war within is a mirage and we can pierce through it up and out and hover and see it all and expand ourselves to receive light and compassion and let that flow down into all of those areas inside that are at war with each other. So I'm going to do a little card reading for us as well. But let's go ahead and begin this meditation, this visualization process to invite in that light and that compassion to help 
yourself. <laughs> Drop the weapons of the battles that are going on inside so that those battles that are going on outside can be diffused and we can perhaps get back to the intention of what 1111 was at the end of World War I, the, the, the end of wars. The end of wars. The end of major battles on the 11th day at the 11th hour in the 11th month. So the metaphor here is it's, it's whatever's going on out there in families, communities, so much battling going on that's happening inside too so let's do a little practice and then i'll do an oracle card reading okay so first we're going to take some breaths and center and ground and what that means is to draw your focus in to your breath and your heart and your body Center. Center means to orient your focus inward and gather your energy in and bring your awareness down. Maybe your heart, maybe your belly. And then bring in the awareness of the breath as it's moving. Not just the air going in and out, that too, but also the sense of the body Filling up with that air and relaxing when you exhale. The sense that your heart is breathing, your lungs are breathing, your cells are breathing. And then the movement starts to come in even more, noticing how it goes down and up. When we inhale, you might gently bring your focus up high above your head. And when you exhale, gently draw that awareness down through your body into your legs and feet and the ground beneath you, down. So you're breathing slowly and deliberately and you're following this flow. And you're feeling the expansion of the breath as it goes in. You're following the inhale all the way up. And then down, back, through your body, down into the earth. And that brings your focus and your energy all together into your center. And now the process, this soothing compassion energy to to lessen the impact, to even possibly end. What if it could even happen now? That the inner battles within yourself, the arguments, the confusions, could just drop. We all have them. We're all human. What if we found a way to imagine all those aspects of yourself that are represented also out in the world that are at war with each other? <clears throat> imagine a round table inside. <laughs> and all these versions of you are sitting around this round table. And they've all decided to just drop their weapons for now, maybe even forever, <laughs> and be at this table together. All those parts of you, all those versions of you together at this table. Maybe decorate the table, maybe adorn the table, maybe there's a big crystal in the center of the table Maybe there are angelic beings or light beings all around you that are overseeing this, this, this dropping of the weapons, this coming together to say, okay, 
for the sake of the good of life, for the sake of the good of peace inside, for the sake of the good of all beings, and for the sake of the good of your own life, your own experience of living, for the sake of your happiness, <laughs> for the sake of peace in your life, of sanity, and of being able to be open as a, as a collective within yourself, all these aspects may be even becoming merged together in a, in a light field of, of energy and maybe a frequency or a sound color that represents solidarity for the sake of you, for the sake of being able to be open, to receive, and say yes to the gifts that you're bringing forward into the world, the gifts of seeing others through the eyes of compassion, and the gift of looking in the mirror and seeing yourself through the eyes of compassion as well. Just keep breathing and come back to that centering awareness visualizing this celestial, beautiful, glowing light above you filled with conscious energy of love and devotion to you. It's devoted to you. Imagine that light just swirling around and coming down into your body. And it's raising the vibration and the frequency of your cells and the water in your body and it's coming down all through into your body, into your heart, into your lungs and your stomach and your gut, and through your throat and your spine, your brain, the back of your head, your ears receiving this light, your shoulders, your arms, your fingertips. And it's bringing a activation of no more war. It's bringing a sensation and a soothing energy down through every center, every electrical impulse, every vibrational swirl of energy in your body, all down into your reproductive system and your root, bringing comfort and care to those areas that might feel hidden, wounded, upset, angry, fearful, worried, all through every aspect of you there at that round table, sitting in those beautiful chairs and that round table together, all those aspects of you receiving this light, receiving this tenderness, receiving new awareness of what you are as an earth being going through this story together going through this long journey millennia after millennia after millennia with all the other beings that ever were and ever will be vibrating the intention through the field of our, our collective awareness. No more war. <laughs> Only peace. We hold space for peace to reside here. Peace resides here. Peace resides here. Peace resides here. Mm. 
Thank you for joining me with that activation and meditation. I'm going to pull a card for us from the Crystal Mandala Oracle deck as we simmer in that peaceful energy. This is Alana Fairchild's, one of her brilliant decks. I love all of her work. And ladies, just so you know, this Friday night is my monthly online women's healing and support group. It's just $11. <laughs> Love to have you join us. All right, so here's this card that I'm pulling. Ha ha ha. Just as I said up. A few words about that and the card number is 13 this Friday night is Friday the 13th so 13 is a divine feminine number tiger spirit rises so you know I want to really honor the fact that I oh, love you too loves thank you I want to honor the fact that when we say peace resides here you know I'm thinking a lot about that word. I think a lot about it a lot. <laughs> Peace. Um, I think it, it doesn't get enough um, uh, credit for being a fierce thing. Because it takes a whole lot to hold that space, doesn't it? To be able to reorient ourselves to the vibration of peace. It's always in there. Sometimes we think it's gone forever. But it's always in us. There's always a place where we can find some calm or some neutrality within ourselves. And then we can tune in with that vibration. Peace is, is daring. Peace requires a level of intelligence and fierce stick to itness because it's so easy to lash out, isn't it? Sometimes it's the hardest thing to do to maintain peace. Now, this is not to say that we stay in abusive situations for the sake of the good of the peace. Just to maintain peace, I'm not gonna upset this other person and just do what they want me to do. That is not peace, okay? <laughs> because there's no peace within when we do that. So I'm talking about peace within. If we stand our ground in those situations for fierce peace, then we leave that situation. We don't allow ourselves to be taken into that no thank you very much but we're not giving into the war right it's so easy we're so triggered on social media there's so much going on and my heart goes out to all of your you that are in families that are at war with each other over politics I am so sorry that's happening right now I am so sorry for whatever consciousness contribution that my soul has contributed to that conflict. I use Ho'oponopono here, the ancient Hawaiian indigenous practice of forgiveness and self-forgiveness, and which is, which is to say that we are all one. And so on some level, I'm not saying that I'm going to victimize myself. But on some level, we'll, we're all responsible for these wars. And so if that's true, then we can seek forgiveness from ourselves and say thank you and open to receive more love so that we can bring even more compassion to the situation. So this card, Tiger's Eye, Tiger Spirit Rises. Oh, totally. You know, with with all of the confusion and all the static, okay, I'm calling it static, it's just noise, all that noise going on. We have it within us, if we want to, to rise above that, okay? To rise above that and hold a stance of power. All, of, all that that means is that there's energy ripe here, potent energy. And it's, it can either be used for that or it can be used to channel peace and create amazing things in the world. So don't let all that mm, static um, fear, um, confusion get in the way because that's all it is. 
It's just static. It's just a distraction, really, from, oh, yeah, no, there's a solution here. Let me find out what that is. Let me be open to what's possible and trust that the help is here and reorient myself to knowing that I'm supported as I follow my dreams. And maybe a part of you says, but am I allowed to follow my dreams? Me, little old me? Oh no, but what if my dreams aren't good? Or if you're watching this channel, <laughs> your dreams are good. <laughs> you have a heart of gold. Okay? <laughs> so tiger spirit rises within. But tiger spirit rises without. Within and without. Within and without. Within and without. So this is a really powerful initiation for our root chakra, <laughs> our sacral chakra, and our solar plexus chakra. It's on the spiritual level of fire, of flame. And this time of Mars just about to go direct is whew, powerful. Of course, all this Aries energy this year and all the fires that have happened. So it's a direct correlation with that in our environment, in our world at large, and in our internal, right? So we have a gift coming here this week, right now, at this time, with this new moon, this day of 11-11, the war to end all wars, Armistice Day turned into Veterans Day. Bless all you veterans. Bless you all. Peace resides here. On this day, in this week, we have tons of support, so use it. Use it. Use it. Write down your desires, your personal desires. Look at how things have come to pass for you. And maybe a little deja vus where you look around and you go, wow, this is something I thought may never happen. And yet, look at this beautiful thing is happening. So project that into the future this week. Really dance it, create it, sing it, write it, get in together in groups, support each other. So... Um, that's what this is all about. Divine Feminine. Tiger. Consider what the tiger means to you. What does that tiger represent for you? There's so much symbolism with the tiger. So maybe play around with that in your awareness too. So, um, see you Friday. Okay. I love that. See you then. It's, um... For those of you who'd like to know about this Friday's Women's Gathering, you can go to rachelchase.com. You can also go to my Instagram link in my bio. There's um, my Patreon is basically what this is. It's a monthly gathering. It's $11. You can cancel anytime. So you could just do this Friday and then cancel if you wanted to for next month. But um, it is a monthly membership. And it's a really beautiful circle of women. We've been gathering together now for a few months online. And of course, I mean, you know, many of you know me and we've been doing these groups for a long time in person and online. But um, also in December, um, inviting all you beautiful women to my healing immersion, the third, fourth, fifth and sixth. And it's Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday during the day and Sunday during the day. And uh, you can also see that on my website, on the events page, and in my Instagram story, on Facebook. It's everywhere. So I hope you can join me for that. But take time. 11-11. Armistice Day turns Veterans Day. Spiritual codes here with Mars going direct this week. New Moon in Scorpio. Powerful gateway energy here. Remember that round table inside of you with all of the aspects of your being channeling that light of love and compassion through all those parts of you that are at war with each other to soothe those fires, to drop the weapons so that your heart can open and you can receive all those blessings that are coming through into your life. So it is. We're holding space together. I love you all. I truly do, and I know you know that. I feel your love too. We are one, we are one, we are one. Blessings. See you next time. Thank you so much for coming. <laughs> Ciao for now.